It's a beautiful day in the south today at the Arky Farms in these sub-zero degree temperatures. It's Christian with Arky Farms. I got my man Heath right here. What's up? Guest starring today and we're looking for Bryce. Um, can't really find him at the moment. What the heck? Bryce, what the heck are you doing, man? I'm making Freedom Angels. What do you think? It didn't even snow. shooting a uh, regular 22 Ruger 1022 and uh, gonna shoot it through a uh, railroad tie with uh, that has some uh, let's see cantaloupe behind it we're gonna see how it goes and uh, I don't know if I mentioned it but it's cold out here oh, I'm so c c cold that I'm shivering here we go let's see what goes let's see what goes on Nice shot by my man Heath, just a little low, but was there penetration? It didn't go through. What do y'all think? I think we're going to have to hit it up with a 5.56 here in a minute. 9 millimeter. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> 22 bullet didn't even go through, so we're going to step it up. We're going 9 millimeter here, and we're going to see what damage it can do. So I hit a little high, as you can see right there. Uh, it still didn't go all the way through. That is, maybe these things are Im impenetrable. Well, it is a railroad tie, gentlemen. Keeps our country's locomotives a rolling. A railing. It's Christian with Archie Farms, and I'm going to be using this little 5.56 five, to hopefully penetrate through that wood that has been so hard headed. So Christian hit right here on the corner of this brick, but it skipped up off the brick, went through the wood, and went through a couple melons here, or cantaloupes. So I'm shooting 5.56 five, again, but it's an AP round, and we're going to see what it does if it can pass through this. The uh, AP round went straight through, but unfortunately it did not hit the melons uh it, it scraped right here on the wood so i mean wait one second huh oh look at that didn't even notice that a second ago i don't know how that happened is that copper casing yeah tore up that melon pretty good though crazy that is awesome I love finding bullets all right now we're gonna move on to a one inch rifle slug um, shoot it out of this Remington 870 you guys saw it in the last video but uh we're hoping this one penetrates through the uh, almighty wood <laughs> I got missed <laughs> use it and so Christian hit down here and blew a freaking massive hole down there in the ground. What a hole. And uh, <laughs> he knocked all the melons over, but nothing has passed solidly through this beast. Started off with that, 22. It did nothing, nor did the 9mm. And that's a 5.56. There's the 12 gauge slug, and this is the beast that he is about to freaking blow a hole through that thing with. How excited are you? Muy excited. I can't remember the Spanish word for excited. Huh. 
Oh, did you miss? Not a little low. Just a little low. <laughs> it. Uh, he shot a little low, as as he said, and he he blew that brick right in half. And uh, the melons still seem to be good, so we're gonna have to do something with those. I'm getting tired of these uh, cantaloupe being here, so we're just gonna short range get rid of them. That. It started to hide from me, but I just figured I'd shoot the daggum railroad tie too. Well, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the 4570 is no joke. Marlin, lever action, can't go wrong. I suggest it highly. I uh, did not go through the uh, railroad tie, sadly, but um, it do do some damage to those cantaloupes. So, after Keith blew away those last melons, uh, we're down to the last melon. The last melon! And we're gonna end 2017 with an Archie Farms bang. All right, time to send off the year in a bang. Oh, did you see? Hey guys, if y'all have a minute, we would really want for y'all to go check out the link in the description. It's the link to these awesome t-shirts that we wore today. Uh, you couldn't really see them in the video because it was, like, like we said, sub-zero. And so we, we had to wear a coat, but we, we wanted to show y'all, I mean, these t-shirts, that literally the most comfortable shirt I've worn in a long time. And on top of that, they've got koozies, and they've even got a cool design on the back. Let me show y'all real quick on Christian's shirt. Look at that. Starkstrom. Go check them out. They're awesome and happy new year.